Welcome back everyone. Nerd on Harleys. Finally going to make another video again. Been way too long. Had way too much going on. But now, I think I want to try to make another video because I've got a few more days left on my vacation. And I figure it's probably going to be a good time to try to make another YouTube video. All right. So I'm over here at the bottom of the four lane. Over by Shaver Lake, over there. Okay. And in some of my previous videos on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see uh, some of those videos that I posted are around Shaver Lake. But today I'm actually going to go to Dinky Creek, which is uh, another place where there's a lot of camping. And there is a lot of wind right now, my gosh. Uh, it's a pretty nice area. Picnics, hikes, and all that other fishing and all that kind of good stuff. And it has been a really long time since I've been over there, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, one of my buddies that I go riding with uh, actually took a trip up there with some of his other friends in the motorcycle group that he's in. And says it's absolutely great. So I want to check it out because uh, last year I tried to go, but I was unable to because there was a forest fire nearby that was just filling up the whole area over there with smoke. So when I took a trip over there, I actually passed the street that I should have turned on because I couldn't see it. The, the smoke was so thick. I didn't know it was going to be that thick when I uh, got up there. So I eventually just ended up turning around and tried to schedule another trip to go back. It's been about a year later. And uh, right now, I think today's the day. So. I'm not with anybody else, it's just by myself right now. But since there aren't any forest fires nearby, I don't have to worry about any smoke. So I figured right now today is a good day to try to check it out again. Yosemite is also near this area too, but it's a little bit, about an hour and a half north of, of this place. So it's not too far, but it's, it's a little bit of a drive. But Yosemite is also a lot more crowded, especially during the summertime when people are vacationing. You got people from all over the world that are coming to check out Yosemite National Park. And that's not really the case for Shaver Lake or Huntington Lake or Tiki Creek for them, for that matter. But so the tourists is, uh, or the crowds from the tourist crowds, I mean, is usually a lot better compared to Yosemite. I've got these new tires on my street glide. The stock gun locks that I had on here, I had to, you know, they pretty much wore out, so I had to replace them. And I put these uh, Metzler's cruise tacks in the, uh, on my bike. It's supposed to be really good tires, and they, so far they feel pretty good. But they haven't really been broken in, and so I definitely noticed a uh, difference in handling compared to the dumb ops that I've had. Right now I probably have maybe about a couple, two or three hundred miles on them. I don't know how long it takes to break them in. Right now it feels pretty good, but it's also really windy too, so that could also be the reason why I kind of feel like I'm, my bike is moving around a little more than usual. How about you guys? What do you guys run on your bikes? Do you, any of you have any Metzler touring tires on your uh, motorcycle, whether it's a street glide or road glide or any other touring motorcycle by chance. What do you guys think of them? I was thinking about getting the Dunlops again, but I don't know. I was just kind of curious about what other tires would feel like. So I decided to give these a try. They also have uh, pretty good reviews on how long they last. Even though I don't know how many miles that is particularly, I couldn't find what these tires are actually rated for uh, mileage wise. Uh, I just heard that they last for like four years. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, well this is lame. But hopefully it opens up and I can get around this truck. 
Unless it's going, <laughs> I'll probably just cut this part out and or fast forward it, depending on how soon I'm able to get around this thing. Look at all that. I'm just glad to see how everything is kind of blooming again after the fire. I should actually find some video of what this area looked like after the fire because none of this was here. I mean, it was all black and yellow and just, it was just devastated. So I'm glad to see that things are growing back. So yeah, you can see just all that over there was all on fire. Just ridiculous how much was destroyed. But it's growing back now. Starting to see some green again, so that's good. Here's Dinky Creek. So, with the GoPro I can make just like regular 2D videos, and then of course with the Insta360 camera that I have here, you can actually see everything around me in 360 with the virtual reality goggles. But if you don't have goggles, that's okay. Uh, if you have a smartphone, which I would imagine many of you do, probably watching this on the smartphone already, um, on YouTube of course. I'll upload a 360 video version where you can actually scroll, like take your phone and scroll across the screen and you'll see everything around me in 360 degrees, okay? So it's just kind of like uh, another way for you to watch uh, motovlogs in 2D or 360 degree uh, footage, so I think that'd be kind of cool. I already have some that are uploaded on my channel, so if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. Let me know what you think. And if you like what you see so far, uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, uh, post more video more frequently. But just keep in mind though that I do have a full-time job and I have a five-year-old kid that's almost six years old now. And so that's almost like another full-time job right there. Look at that. It's beautiful over there. It's just absolutely breathtaking. You got so much chaos and controversy in the world. It kind of brings you down. All of that goes away when you hop on two wheels and get out into the open like this.
comes the sheriff. Old mill site. Looks like there's a old mill site that's coming up here soon. Probably to the left of me. Let's see what that's like. Oh, no, never mind. It's gated. Creek, let's uh, take a little stop real quick. Tinky Creek, one mile, okay. Ross Crossing, Prince Meadow, Pine River Reservoir, so 12, 12, and 28. I got a little ways to go. Check this out. Check this out, horseback riding. Oh, okay, my wife would love to do this, okay. All right. For future reference. Let's see what's going on here. General store and cafe. Huh? Check this out. I don't know. All right, all right. Creek end of the road. Almost general store and cafe. I don't see no store. All right. Let's keep going. Maybe there's a store up here. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Let's see what this is. Closed. Oh, sorry, we're closed. Okay. <laughs> I look like a total noob at this right now because honestly, I don't know where or what actually over here. Like I said, it's the first time I've been here since I'm probably a kid. Like a little kid. So this is almost like a first time for me. All right, what are you doing, buddy? All right. Check this out. Is it cool? Little cabins, all right. Oh, there's a little ticket thing, huh? All right, so, all right, check this out. No parking anytime. Here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, what's the cost? $10. $10? Um, this is really like my first time here, so I'm just kind of checking everything out. Okay, $10, honeymoon pool. Honeymoon pool? Uh, it's right across from my, it's right here. Right there. Okay, honeymoon pool. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so here we go. Okay, so after a little bit of a technical difficulty, they are able to get the credit card processor to work. And so now I've got my day pass, I could actually uh, ride through the park illegally. Dinky Creek Amphitheater, huh? Oh, you know what? I kind of remember this. Oh, dude, I do remember this. Man, this takes me back. Old school, man. Yeah, okay. A group of us went camping. So we were probably somewhere over here in this area. And then we had walked down to the amphitheater and saw some kind of a show over there. Uh, I think it was a park ranger. I think a park ranger did a show on uh, Dinky Creek and what to do if, uh, if you ever happen to cross paths with a bear. Because there are bears through here. They do come through here a time or two. Look at this place, man, this is nice. Kind of sucks, I don't have anybody else to come with, but that's just the case for today. So just up a little bit further, I'm pretty sure we'll find some kind of a land site. There's supposed to be a really cool bridge. Trails end. They use only. All right, so it looks like this is probably the end of the road for me. What I'll do is I'll just back in here. Harley Davidson in your neutral. Gotta do something about that, butter. Thinking good here. All right. 
Let me stop it and take a walk around and see where I'm at. So uh, the reason why I missed the bridge was because it's all the way over there, completely hidden from the road back over there. So it's just a little bit of a walk down because I don't think they are letting anybody drive down here, even if you're on a motorcycle, but uh, looks like it's a pretty cool looking bridge, old, old school looking bridge, completely made out of wood right over there. So. Um, here we go. Go ahead and uh, get a little bit closer and then start the video back up. Hope it'll be good enough. Okay, so here's the bridge. Let's see if I can get over here from this side. Yeah, look at that. That is a cool looking bridge. They must have done some repairs on it because uh, it looks like they, they're using pressure treated wood. Which is smart because it'll keep it from rotting. It'll make it last longer. But that's probably what the original bridge actually looked like before they started using pressure treated wood. Let's go right over here. Let's go take a walk over the bridge. Have a look over the creek. 1938. All right. All right. Dogs over here. Look at this view. Look at that view. Some taggers. Wow. How you guys doing? Hi, good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. Hey, hey, they're it's okay. Packs of one bark this way. I know, I know. I got it. I had three little yipper dogs myself before, yeah. so it, I know what it's like. This guy loves people. Yeah. The two boys like people yeah. a lot. Matter of fact, I had a uh, smaller. Is, is he kind of like a Pomeranian almost? Yeah, he's a mix. He's a mix, right? A Pomeranian and American Eskimo. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. This was a little long coat chihuahua. Yeah. So. Uh, is that a little gimbal? Yeah, this is a little camera. Is so it's a 360 a... camera. So it's actually recording everything at 360 degrees from here. Oh, yeah, so I can record over there, over there, up, down, all over the place. So yeah. I uh, yeah. that. I have a nice gimbal that I uh, oh, okay. handheld or can go on your backpack strap. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. But it stays level with. Yeah, this actually stays very good. good. Has like excellent horizon lock. What's yeah. the brand? Or this is an Insta 360 One X2. Insta 360, huh? Yeah, never heard of it. That's it's um, cool. it's kind of an up and coming brand right now. It's uh, it's not really very widely known, at least at this point, but it's becoming increasingly more popular. You're yeah, starting to see like you can actually buy these cameras on the uh, Apple website now. Okay, cool. So. Hey. Two. I'll take Thanks. a picture of you. Sure. <laughs> so I can this is what the front of it I'm looks like. Everything photographic. Yeah, no problem. Well, that's the front of the camera. Okay. And then there's the back of the camera. Let me see if I can flip, flip it a little so I can see the. There we go. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Interesting. I love yeah. that kind of gadget. Stuff. Yeah, so I rode on my motorcycle over here and I can clamp it on my handlebars yeah. and I can record a 360 everywhere. It's right? like a yeah. GoPro <laughs> advanced. Yes, yes. 360 and the gimbal. Uh, yeah. So if uh, the GoPro has the Max and that's their 360 version of the camera, oh, okay. and this is their competitor basically. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. So. Oh, thanks. All right, no problem. You guys take care. You too. Good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. 
All right, so I just took a trip and I finally found a Dinky Creek Bridge, which is one of the uh, popular landmarks over here. Got another guy coming out here, I think. I'll wait my turn. Cool, so here's the trip to Dinky Creek. And uh, I had a good time, nice ride. Definitely want to come back here again. If you happen to like this video, please give it a like. If you like uh, the video that I made also and want to see more, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I would really appreciate that. So in the meantime, wherever you guys are riding, ride safe, keep the rubber side down, like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you later, okay? Peace. Awesome!